Hey everyone, it is Valeria or Fluorescent UV here today with a brand new hair, brand new nails, whole personality check. Who is she? I don't know her. She's here till quarantine. Back here with a new video. This video is something that I feel like is the perfect time to master and to practice because this takes a long time just if especially if you're out of your comfort zone i thought it was going to take longer than i expected uh, i was a little bit scared but then once i got one eye over one eye done i knew that the other eye was going to be so much easier i'm excited i hope you're ready for this now as a fellow raver i have been trying to watch many live stream sets because the djs out here have been pumping out some good ass content for me just to live my life have fun indoors and not uh get ass bored so today is friday which means that they're about to start escape virtual rave thon which i'm just gonna chime into and it's perfect time because escape is for costumes now what am i i am a majestic fairy butterfly you can't phase me don't come at me these nails got me feeling some type of way if you're excited to watch this festival inspired makeup look butterfly inspired makeup look and you want to get a little bit creative during this quarantine keep yourself busy then just keep on watching alrighty so let's get started with the next eye I had to do this eye off camera just because it was really difficult for me to pre-plan without not seeing what I had to do so I'm just gonna walk you through with one eye one eye done and yeah let me just zoom you in real quick first thing I did was going with my P. Louise basic eyeshadow base which is the baby blue one right here and I'm just putting that all over my lid off camera I decided just to shape my brows just to give me a like a highlighted brow bone and something a little bit more defined so I don't have to go back once I'm done with my eyeshadow. Now the trick here is to use a lot of the baby blue eyeshadow base and a dry sponge. And just tap that all over your eye. When you get to the outer corner, just make sure you're blending it outward and a little bit up. Just so you could give yourself a little bit of definition. You're blending it out as well with the sponge. And try to go into your inner corner uh, and your inner brow bone because, as you can tell, we're having blue eyeshadow there too. I'm just going to go in with another layer because it's excessive, but I want to. Just because I want the baby blue to be very bright and noticeable. I'm using a bunch of palettes, but bear with me. First palette I'm going into is my Blue Moon palette. And I'm using the shade Moonlight and putting that in my crease. This is my transition shade. Now this is the easiest part just because you don't really you don't really have to blend as much and it's not going to be very seen because as you can tell the eyeliner is covering it. Okay, I'm going to start with my outer corner first and then work my way in. For my outer corner, I'm using my BH Cosmetics number no. 6 brush. Then I'm going in with my Carnival XL palette from Stacey Marie in the shade Blue Waves. And putting that in the outer corner first just to define the crease and the outer V make sure you wing it out and you just kind of make your eye look elevated yeah so this is the first video that I fully come out with the blue green hair and it matches my nails like I'm all all kinds of blue over here, um, I'm very into the spring colors. I just decided to take advantage that I am... No one's going to see me, so I dyed my hair. And I don't have to report to the army. I'm not working, so I put acrylics on. And I'm just living my alter ego life. And this is what I'm going to look like in three years. I'm going to have... My hair is going to be more teal. It's going to be probably like this, uh, this eyeshadow right here. That's how light I want it. A girl can dream but I'm going to do it because that's what I deserve after I get out of the army I'm gonna go in with a little bit of fine china from the blue moon palette in Colourpop just to deepen it again and give it a different tone of blue now the top half of the eyeshadow is simple 
it's easy because it's just monochromatic different tones of blue and mint inner corner but the wing the eyeliner was a little bit difficult again going in with my blue moon palette and the shade dabadi which is this very beautiful muted blue just packing that in the middle and packing that all the way up to my crease make sure you blend it into the outer corner okay i'm gonna go in with the jawbreaker palette from jeffree star and going in with brain freeze putting tapping that into my inner corner just to give me that baby blue color now the goal here my inspiration was to match my nails for the color scheme so that's what i'm doing after I packed on the baby blue, I'm packing in a mint shade from the XL Carnival palette from Stacey Marie in the shade Y though, which is a very minty shade. My, my inspiration were my nails for the color. I started following this guy called Make Makeup by Gilly in Instagram and I saw that he had posted a butterfly makeup look and i just had to try it the easiest way to blend your matte eyeshadows together is just to keep on packing them tapping over the eyeshadow itself so like right here i'm going with the bada b color from ColourPop, tapping on top of the the brain freeze and the y though and there you have it so that is the key make sure when you're blending your matte shades you're always tapping and you're never swiping because then your pigment is gone going in with this special type of q-tips i got these at ulta these are amazing and i'm just going to swipe and clean with my cellar water clean whatever i have under my eye because i am going to use something different and in my inner corner for a clean base these are so awesome i really like these for detailing work so right here i'm just going to clean my outer v then with my wet and wild color icon multi stick in the shade lavender bliss i'm just going to put that on my on my lower lash line <sighs> then with my light Lou lack color pop eyeshadow and the shade zoned out i'm just setting the eyeshadow base I'm gonna go in with Rumor Zero, which is the white shade, putting it in a metal palette that I have here in my desk just to highlight my inner corner. So then I'm just using the Q-tip just to put the white eyeshadow base and then with a clean brush, just blending it out. Okay, then with my Daisy Marquez palette, I'm going in with the shade Daisy, which she says it's like a Tiffany blue, but I feel like it's like more of a minty shade. And I'm just putting that in my inner corner and blending that into the baby blue now that I'm fully done I'm just going to zoom through the eyeliners and you're going to see how I create it the best way I can explain it is when you first start you're going to start with your lash line then you're going to curve in like making it look like a wing and wing it out on the very top the way I like to the way I did it is uh, for the first line on my other eye I like to go in into my crease and then to add the wing texture I like to do it above my crease and really close to my eyebrows the eyeliners I'm using are physicians formula waterproof eyeliner the newer the eyeliner the better especially for these because they're so easy to work with and they're really uh, wet so it, since it, it's brand new and it has a lot of product, it's not going to drag and it makes it easier for fine detail. If you have the Fenty Beauty one, that one works well, really well too. And then for my white dot, any white eyeliner works. I forgot to mention, but when you are doing this, make sure you outline first and then you start thickening everything. And that's how it works. It's the easiest way. If you need help trying to follow it, I followed a picture the whole time I did this eye. So just make sure you're doing that when you're trying to recreate the wing. Okay, so I did this off camera accidentally. And all I really did was just make the circles and i'm about to fill them in right now
Okay, now that I am done, I can finally breathe again. It looks kind of sloppy, and honestly, I feel like this one even looks sloppy, but what really makes it is the white eyeliner. So again, going in with Fenty Beauty's white t-shirt, I'm just using this bad boy and just giving myself different uh, sizes of dots just to, excuse me, just just to define the wings and this makes it to look from a 5 to a, to honestly from personally for me to a 10 i just love the way that I, it came out so the trick to this is just the way you pressure your your pen and how much you how much pressure you put into like once you apply the dots so i just try to put the dots the heaviest dots where there's more black and it covers, you know, most of the black and you don't see as much as much detail. I try to cover it with more white more than anything just because, I don't know, I like how it looks. Make sure you mix it in. I'm not making them look the same. I want them to look different. Just where the black is about to end the tip of it, I really like to accentuate that. and there you have it these are the butterfly wings i'm going in with my Too faced hangover primer i couldn't remember what this one i haven't used this one in a hot ass minute so i felt like i should use it now i'm going in with my becca ultimate coverage 24 hour in the shade buff this shit's full coverage and i'm going in with my makeup forever y345 the reason why i did not record my freshly temporary color hair dye is because my laptop had to be reset and so basically from what i found out is my windows 7 was non-compatible to the adobe like intel graphics so i had to re uninstall 7 and reinstall it but then i found out windows 7 is complete shit and it's the worst of the worst so then i had to hire someone pay someone to re reinstall 10 windows 10 for me so i was out of a laptop for how i want to say for like four days and the day the day that I was going to record and I was going to edit and do like be productive and whatnot, I realized that and <laughs> I just really did not want to do anything because of that because I was just so bummed out and it was really really frustrating because it took me it took me like two days to uninstall my fucking windows and then after that it took me like a day to find someone thankfully he he installed it like right away it was really hard to find someone but thankfully we knew someone that knows how to and we you know i was able to give him my computer and just drop off my computer and he could work on it bitch was pricey though it came out to be like a total of like four hundred dollars just to fix my laptop but it's better than sp spending like a thousand dollars on a laptop for concealer i'm going in with my l'oreal l'oreal uh infallible full wear concealer in y335 vanilla oh i baked a cake today and i'm actually going to make cake jars as well going in with my wet and wild makeup stick in contour in the shade oaks on you just to bronze up the face so now that i have everything where i wanted to find just with the with the cream contour i'm just going to blend that out with my foundation brush i think i'm going to try to bake a marble cake because i've been watching this new sh this show on netflix called nailed it i feel like not a lot enough people talk about that show that show is hilarious nicole and jacques jacques torres are hilarious they are the best 
duo in any TV show. I think they're hilarious. I love Nicole. To set my concealer, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light, which is 10. Tapping it into where I put my concealer. So then going in with my Milani Silky Matte Sunlight Bronze in the shade Sunlight, which is 01. I'm going to use that to bronze off my face. Oh yeah, so it's his birthday coming up soon so he has a quarantine birthday so why not just celebrate with a super cool cookout he could be the grill master huh babe mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's gonna be the grill master for his birthday for a party of five <laughs> going in with my mac cosmetics blush in just a pinch which is a extra dimension blush this is shimmery as hell but I love shimmery blushes. They are my favorites. So with this blush, I'm just really emphasizing the cheeks and the nose just to look a little bit more fairy-esque. I'm going in with my Sub-Zero palette in the shade M, mm, which is like a very holographic blue. I'm going to just highlight my cheekbones. This is more of a fairy-like Halloween type of look now i'm gonna go bring in a secret weapon which is my peaches and cream pigment in mermaids so peaches and cream always shows people using their product as a highlighter and i really want to try it out especially mermaids oh my god especially mermaids and fantasy this would look so cute as a festival look as well oh my god so just use that loose pigment just to give me an extra glitteriness and highlight effect uh. all right we're back and i have my lashes for my lashes i went with my makeup lashes in the style felicia just because i want something super small i don't want to take the drama away from the actual wing so i decided to have something that has more drama in the middle of my eye so when i still look up you can still see the wing itself for my lower lashes i decided to go in with some mint mascara from it's one of my favorites that has lasted me such a long time. It is my NYX colored mascara in the shade Mint. We're going to go into lips. Lips is a little bit of a, feels like a science class because I'm doing a bunch of different things. Um, I'm going to go in with my Melt Cosmetics Chick Habit Liquid Lipstick and then with my Makeup a Murder Pigment, which is the lilac one just to brighten the inner corners to keep in theme with the nails. I'm gonna let this fully dry before I actually put in the pigment because I just feel like it's a lot easier to blend things and it doesn't fully, it doesn't get patchy in certain spots where the liquid lipstick is wet. If you don't like this lip and you don't wanna go purple, you can always use something very pinkish. I think that's always a safe route to go with like a very pinky base nude. If you don't have a certain color you can always use eyeshadow and especially pigments on top of a liquid lipstick that you have a color close to enough i just think that it's a perfect accessory for that like i love using bright pink and if i feel like if it's not neon enough i like to put neon pigments on top of it just to make it look more neon so that's another trick you can always use other makeup products for other things just than for what it's described for to use. So now that I feel it's a little bit more dry, I'm just going to pat it in with my Makeup Shack T73. I'm starting in the inner part of my lips and then blending downward. And this is the final look right here. For this butterfly themed to match my nails now I've been wanting to do this for such a long time to start a new way to bring out more content is just to try to match my nails as much as possible because I like to I like to have very colorful nails and I like to challenge myself for that so this is my intake on matching my nails just with a little bit of a butterfly edition now I'm gonna go 
have fun ghosts go rave in my bedroom right here i have the led light so i'm a little bit ready i just gotta change into my rave attire which is sweatpants and a comfy t-shirt because you know ain't nobody got time to get that dressed up i just really hope you, this inspires you to get out of your comfort zone and try something artistic and learn something from this butterfly effect i shout out to makeup gilly for inspiring me to do this butterfly i don't know who was the creator of this but this is beautiful and these are the perfect the people that inspired me to do them so here you go furthermore i will catch you on my next Next video stay safe be careful out there be nice to everybody and i will catch you on the next one bye